Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jay, and I got another ZV-1 Mark II video for you. This time, I'm gonna go over using the camera as a web camera. So it's super easy to do. All you need is a USB-C cable to plug into the camera, and depending on what kind of laptop ports you have, you either need a USB-C or a regular USB cable. So I got a really long cable and you can see it here on Amazon. It's fairly affordable. They come in different lengths, but like I said, I got the 10 footer because I wanted maximum length. So this way I can use the webcam and like walk around the studio, like up to 10 feet away, which is really convenient if I'm trying to show somebody like for consulting purposes, if somebody's asking me how I have my studio set up, I could literally just show right like, you know, so I, I like the 10 footer for that purpose. But anyway, the, the ZV-1 Mark II just built in with this USB-C port on the side here. So we got the USB-C port right here on the side. So I'm just gonna plug the cable into that. And then I'm gonna plug the other end of the cable into my computer, like so. So now I have it in the USB-C port here and the USB-C port there. This is just the extra cable. I'm just gonna put that over there so it's a little cleaner looking from that angle. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn the camera on. So because the USB cable is plugged into the camera and the computer, the camera sees it and it's asking what you would like to do. So this will happen if you want to transfer your photos to the laptop, for example, you would have to select image transfer. So you can do MSC or you could do MTP. Those are two different protocols for transferring images. Or you can set the USB port for remote shooting as well. If you want to use Imaging Edge desktop, they have a desktop version of like those, that creator app program, and you can actually use your PC to control the camera. I have a video on that as well. It's called the Imaging Edge desktop. So I'm going to click up the top option here. So you have live stream, USB streaming. So I'm going to click that. The USB streaming function always operates in movie mode. It's just letting you know. I'm going to click don't show again right there. And then I'm going to click OK. And there we go. So it's going to automatically put the camera into like movie mode and it'll be ready to go for streaming purposes or if you want to use it as a web camera. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to go over to the laptop and let me open FaceTime. Jace, can I call you on FaceTime quick? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to give Jace a call real quick on FaceTime here and I'll show you how it works. So check it out. I have my... um my laptop camera selected still, Jay, so I'm just gonna change the video. So let's see if you could see the difference. This is my crappy laptop camera. Now. That looks so much better. Like you can see like all the shine and stuff. Way more detail, right? So now yeah. I could also change the audio here. You could see microphone and that is also set to the ZV-1 Mark II. So you're gonna get the better quality audio as well. All right, buddy. I appreciate your help. Thank you. All right, bye-bye. The web camera is 720p at 30 frames per second, and uh, it works pretty good. The audio sounds good. The video looks good for web conferences and stuff like that. So I think it's a great option, and I just wanted to make a dedicated video on it for those looking to use it for that purpose. That about wraps up this video, guys. I appreciate you checking it out. If you could do me a favor and give me a thumbs up, I appreciate it. And be sure to subscribe if you want to see more tutorials like this. You have a great day. I will catch up with you next time. Take care. Let's go.